Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever one it is for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Of course, guys, my name is Jesse, and today let's take a look at the two biggest commercial aviation manufacturers in all of the commercial aviation industry. You guys already know the two, Airbus versus Boeing. These two have been going at it for quite some time now, and today, guys, we're going to be looking further into that battle. Without further ado, I'm feeling a little patriotic today. Let's start with Boeing. Boeing was founded on July 15, 1916 by William E. Boeing. The first plane ever built by Boeing was a seaplane, but their first commercial aircraft was a 707 built in 1957. Boeing built 865 of these aircraft, including the 720, and they flew all the way to 1979. After the 707, Boeing eventually developed the 747, 737, 777, and the 767. These aircraft took off very well, no pun intended, and led Boeing to success. The most famous of all these aircraft, the Queen of the Skies, or of course as you guys know, the 747, was the world's first double-decker jumbo jet. It started flying in 1968 and still flies to this day with the brand new 747-800. The 737 series is the most popular aircraft they built. It's a short to mid-range aircraft with over 12,000 planes ordered to this date. The 777, a mid to long range aircraft, was at one point the biggest twin engine jet in the world, that is, until the A350-1000. 777 is still in use today, with the new 777X series coming out soon. The 767 still flies as well, and Boeing's new 787 is also getting a lot of attention. Airbus was founded on December 18, 1970, over 54 years after Boeing. Their first plane was the A300, which was a passenger plane but is now mostly used as a cargo jet. The A310 came after the A300 and, and, is also, and also is still in use. After the A300 and A310, Airbus came out with the A320, A330, A340, A380, and then the A350. These aircraft compete with Boeing in each class. The A320 competes with the 737. The A330, A340, and A350 competes with the larger aircraft such as the 777, 767, and the 787. And the A380 competes with the 747 and 777. The A380 which started flying in 2005 is the world's biggest commercial aircraft. It can seat over 850 people with an all-economy class configuration and 525 with a three-class configuration. With a wingspan of 260 feet, the A380's max takeoff weight is 1.2 million pounds. Alright guys, so now we're going to go over the revenue that they made. In 2016, Boeing's total revenue was $94.6 billion. Airbus was at $75.3 billion. Alright guys, so to pretty much sum up the battle between Airbus and Boeing right now, let's just take a look at how many planes are in service by each company. Boeing, Boeing has almost 12,000 planes actively in service right now, while Airbus has about 10,500. So definitely Boeing is leading by about 1,500 aircraft, and it does make sense because of the fact that Boeing's been around longer. Um, but for the fact that Airbus came out 54 years after Boeing, and it's only you know, 1,500 behind them is really good. So they are doing pretty good. Um, now also keep in mind, you know, there probably wasn't really a need for aviation until a certain point, which probably, you know, helps Boeing's case because, you know, it's a fact that, you know, they're being caught up by a company that was developed 54 years after them. But, you know, I'm sure there was a point where aviation, um, for the need for commercial aircraft skyrocketed at a certain point where Airbus was probably in service. So that, that does probably help a little bit or that, that does help explain the reason behind it. But still, Airbus is definitely doing a pretty good job for how long they've been out um, or how, how late they came into it. So the whole Airbus versus Boeing thing is like Ford versus Chevy. You know, one's going to release a certain truck and the other thing be like, oh, wow, we need to compete with that. Let's build almost the exact same thing, but our style and see who buys more of it. So when Airbus came out, they saw the 737 and say, hey, let's make the A320 and boom, there you go. It competed with it. It's the same concept. So pretty much, you know, the A380, which you could probably respectively say is the king of the skies right now, is, is definitely competing with the 777 and the 747. It's the same size range of aircraft. It's the same class. Although the A380 is much bigger as far as how many people it can hold, it's, it's still in the same class. Another good example is McDonnell Douglas. McDonnell Douglas is another, if you guys don't know, assuming that some of you guys are learning about this, McDonnell Douglas is another aviation company for commercial aircraft. They make cargo aircraft and stuff too. Um, McDonnell Douglas has, um, I'm not sure this is a rumor, but they made a, looks like a, like a research plan or something, and they have a picture of something called the, uh, the MD-12. And the MD-12 
looks exactly like the A380 with just minor changes. That's it. Now that's an example. Now if they actually carry out with this, which I'm not sure if it's real or not, that's a good example. And that's going to be something interesting because I've never seen a new concept design for something copying the A380. So if that actually does happen for some reason, that would be pretty interesting, but I highly doubt it's going to. McDonnell Douglas doesn't make planes anymore. They just... They, they, they just use the ones that they have, like the, um, the MD-11s, the MD-10s. Uh, they're, they're mostly freighters, all that stuff. McDonnell Douglas, maybe the MD-80s, uh, MD-88s, all those planes, like the small passenger planes, but no more big ones. And, I mean, if they do actually come out with the MD-12, that will be interesting because that's going to be interesting on the market. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much the whole review on the battle between Airbus versus Boeing. Please, if you liked this video, I put a lot of time into it. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know. Advertise the channel if you guys want. I could use subscribers. I mean, hey, we're still pretty low, guys, and, you know, we, we want to get up there. So whatever you guys can do to help, absolutely. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Jesse, and please stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day, everybody.